What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. That's right, it's finally here. You read that title, you seen that thumbnail. Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys just what the in and out double double animal style burger is all about. Hey, super simple, real easy for you guys that don't have no in and out value. Look, this is the way it goes. It really comes down to them uh, grilled onions and then that uh, secret uh, sauce. Really, that's that animal style sauce. Hey, outside of that, listen, I don't want to over talk it. So let's go right over these ingredients and let's get on this griddle. Okay, look, let me just start off by showing you the beef, right? This right here, this is an 80-20% blend. You know, you want it to be juicy, and that's where you, that 20% comes in. Got to have some of that fat intake. So that's this. This, oh, let me just say this. This is just like 1.25 pounds, you know? So then right here, I got some butter. You know what, we're going to put some butter, we're going to melt it. And the reason we're going to do that is because, listen, we got to toast these buns. Now, I'm going to start from the far part, right? The furthest part. Let me just go ahead and show this right here. Look, these are just some diced onions, because listen, we're gonna grill these. Gotta have grilled onions, especially when you say animal style. That's like they think. Now, I'm showing French's yellow mustard, right? This is being, listen, we're gonna fry the patties. One side of it is gonna be uh, fried with using this mustard. That's gonna be awesome. Now, we got sweet relish. Here we got some mustard right here, because look, this is what's gonna play a part in, you know, the sauce, the animal style sauce. Of course, you gotta have mayo. Then you gotta have pickles, you know what I mean? This is a key. This is what they put on there. Now check this out. This is a nice, big, <laughs> juicy, you know, tomato. And you see this knife right here? Let me see if I can get it so you guys can see it. I just wanna say, hey, thank you to Robert Thibodeau. You know what, he sent this out. Said he saw me cutting it. Said he got a tomato knife. Just sent it out on his own. I just wanna say, hey, thank you, bro. I'm getting ready to use this right now. And check this out. We gotta have ketchup. So this, these items right here go inside this mayo with a little salt and just a pinch of uh, pepper, and that's when we're gonna make that animal style sauce. Then you gotta have lettuce, right? This is just some iceberg lettuce, and then you gotta have your slices of cheese. This is just an American style. Actually, this is like, uh, I think this is a mild cheddar. This is the bite that I like to get on mine. But this is gonna get you in the ballpark, and when you say in and out doubles, uh, double in and out animal style burger, this is it. Okay, so check it out. My griddle is, is nice and hot. I got it, it's divided into two zones. This over here, I got it kind of hot, where we just call this like a, a medium heat, and over here I got it a little high, right? Just like a medium high. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start by, we're gonna start by doing our uh, onions. So this is what's gonna take the longest, right? So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, just a little oil down, right? And then, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of uh, butter, and then we're gonna add that also. Now, we wanna grill these, right? Hey, immediately, when your griddle is uh, hot, you can smell it right off the bat. You can just tell, hey, this right here is already working. So, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, so you guys can see Look, I don't take them all the way down, you know what I mean? This is about like how I like them, but you can see it's not all them juices, right? So what I do is I just take myself just a little bit of water, just to waken it up, just like that. Move this around just a little bit. And that right there, listen, it's gonna be real nice and fragrant. And there you have it. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. And there you have it. Okay, so got my little, look, this is my little Cuisinart. Look, this is for butter, right? This is what we're gonna do, we're gonna melt our butter. I'm gonna sit this in here right now, let that go ahead and melt, because that's what we're gonna go ahead and toast our buns with using that. So, let's go ahead and start working on this meat. Okay, so now, what I did was I took my meat, look, I just took a knife and separated and divided everything into four, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these, the quarter piece, right? And I'm just gonna take it and just go like this. You know what, we're just gonna make a ball, right? So once we got a ball, boom, that's it. We're gonna go ahead and do this and just we're just gonna repeat until all four balls are done. Okay, so we got four equally sized balls, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little oil on my, put a little bit of oil on here, you know, just to get it going, right? 
This is just cooking oil, you guys. Got that down. Now I'm gonna take one of my balls. I'm just gonna take it, put it in, put it on right there. Put one right here. And the other two, I'm gonna wait a minute, because what I wanna do is, once I get them on here, I wanna press them. Now, I'm gonna use this press right here. We're gonna press and we're gonna hold it down for about 10 seconds, right? So we just leave that down like that. Wait about 10 seconds. Listen, there's a lot of heat coming out of that exhaust back there on the back. So, once those are done, then you do it and take it off and hope none sticks. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. There we go. We'll add this one here and this one here. And we'll do the same thing. Now, a lot of people gonna ask right off the bat, how come I didn't season my meat? But this is the way they do there, so we're gonna do it the same way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little salt and pepper to it this way. Remember, we, we doing a copycat, right? So we just add it like this. Then we're gonna hit it with a little pepper. Here's where it's gonna be the key. This is where a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what? You know what I mean? We're just gonna put a little mustard on here, just like you see there. And this right here, this is what makes everybody keep flocking back, you know what, to uh, in and out because they gotta have it and they don't even know why. So, we, now, I'm gonna go ahead and use this knife. Oh man, I see why he said this. Man, this is nice right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut myself just a couple of nice slices. Right? Oh yeah, this is almost like I'm the human mandolin. Then I'll just cut one like this. I like that. Now we got our tomatoes, right? Now we come back over here, we just cut our tomatoes, right? So now we're gonna cut these and just flip these over. Look at this crust right here. Oh yeah. That right there, these are gonna be awesome. Now, our butter is melted, right? So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take this, keep moving this around, get some butter on our buns, as we're getting ready to start toasting. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. And then for you guys who uh, use griddle tops, you know we're gonna get a little steam going, right? to help melt it. I can put a top on it, but we're just gonna let it go ahead and work like that. Check these buns. Oh yeah. Now we just go ahead and assemble, you know, our ammo style sauce. So we just put that in there like that. Let's go ahead and get our mustard. We've already measured everything out. It all goes in here, right? Then our relish. Then we blend this. We're gonna add a splash of, just a splash of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And there you have it. This is ready to go. Okay, so let's just do this. We'll take this one here. We'll just add this one right here on top. We'll take this one here and add this one right here on top of this one right here, right? I went ahead and turned everything down, you know? Look at this right here. I know some of y'all looking at that right there. I want to tell you, that's a whole lot of goodness right there. So, we'll let that finish. Now let's go ahead and assemble these bums, buns, and let's go from there. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this sauce on the bottom right here.
I like a lot of sauce, listen, and it's animal style. Listen at the name, animal style. Meaning if it ain't getting all over your face, then hey, something is wrong. So we got that there. Now we finna come with four pickles. Let's go ahead and get some of these premium pickles right here. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You know if it was me, I'd do that bread and butter. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the deal just to keep it, keep the, the, the pace and the faith, you know, with, uh, with it being animal style. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get us a slice of the tomato. Ah, yeah. I know y'all can see it coming together right now, right? Then we're gonna go ahead, fold some of this lettuce over here, like this. Just like you see, right? Now let's get that fire. Now, let's go ahead. Check this out. Ah, ah yeah. Now we come with number two. Want to get it right in the middle. We want to get it perfect, right? Now look at that cheese on top. Nice and sticky still, right? Hey, we ain't done with that. Now, we finna go ahead and put some grilled onions on the top. Get ourselves some of these green grilled onions. Ah. We put them on the top like that. And that's up to you guys if you want to go ahead and put some sauce on there. But like I said, I'm gonna stay true, you know, to the game and just keep it like that. And I want you guys to tell me what you think about that. There, look, double double animal style, you know, in and out burger. Look at that right there. That's that fire, folks. Now I want you guys to take a look at like the edge of the cheese. That right there, look, those crisp edges of the cheese gives it so much flavor. Hey, so tell me what you guys think. Hey, it's something that you didn't see? Check this out. This is for all you people out there. You know what this is. Hey, if you know me, you, you know what this is. Hey, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below how many of y'all mix your Kool-Aids. All right, so I'm gonna tell you right now, this is my own little blend right here. It's that fruit, uh, what is that? That tropical punch and uh, great, and great Kool-Aid. Hey, so right now I'm gonna just go down here. I'm gonna pick this up. Hey, look, check it out. Ooh wee. Hey, and it's dripping. Hey, I don't even know what to say. I keep saying, hey, I don't wanna over talk it. Let's get it. Mmm, -hmm. mm, man. Now you know it's juicy. You know I like to use to get out with a napkin. Hey, but I'm gonna use this this towel. <laughs> now you want to talk about something that's good? Hey, listen, we gonna close out. You know what? The summer, summertime with something like this right here. Hey, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, how could you top this? And I know how to top it. We could do a four by four, meaning four patties. Hey, so here's the part that's optional. Let's wash it down a little bit. I had to catch myself. You guys might have heard me. I like to sip on it just a little bit. Hey, so with that being said, let me know what you think. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's making these copycats. He's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, with that being said, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.